Hi everyone, hope you've been well kept of God, hope you're well, hope your marriages are doing well, hope those who are single are doing well, hope those who are in school are studying and studying well, hope those who are in their teenagehood are enjoying it and growing well in the Lord. I hope you who is in a point where you're supposed to make a critical decision in your life are choosing to honor God and I hope that we are journeying together and growing together in the Lord. I just uh, thought of sharing something that I learned at the beginning of the year. Um, at the beginning of the year, I can't really remember much, but I remember I think I was struggling with a bit of, was it a bit or a lot of unforgiveness and anger and pride and, you know, God just took that opportunity to show me so many things in my life that I needed to come to him and allow him to work in me. It's work in progress. If I tell you that I am no longer struggling with anger and forgiveness, impatience, huh, I'll be lying. But I, I thank God because of something that he taught me and I want to just share. Um, when you are going through any challenge, any sin, you're struggling with anything, the best thing to do is to look and see what god says concerning that issue when you're struggling with anger where what does the lord say about anger so what i used to do is i used to go online and just search uh any any scriptures that talk about anger and just read them and read them when i'd get to points where i'm thinking my husband is not making me happy I just go online and search and see what is it that I feel I'm struggling with. So I started that journey. It's um, some of the I've, I've done some of the written blogs concerning some of the issues that I actually struggled with, and the scriptures that God gave me in those in those areas. And what I've realized is that you know the word of God is is light. When you read and learn, and and uh, hear what God says concerning those uh, issues it gives you supernatural strength to be able to overcome and then when you get to that point especially if, if you're struggling with maybe something like anger when you're about to react or act in a certain way that is anger driven it's like the Word of God comes alive at that point and reminds you what God says concerning that matter so I want to encourage you where you are in your season, whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is that you're facing, you're deciding uh, about, search and see what God says concerning those, those, those areas of your life and allow him to, to work with you. I will tell you that when you surrender to God and tell him to work with you, you'll be surprised when he starts unveiling you to yourself and you start seeing what. I am this bad person. I am evil. The reality is that scripture is it's God himself in, in, in word. And the more we get into it and just hear what God says concerning these things, it's the realization that he is a very holy God that makes us realize we are very unworthy. But he also shows us how much he has loved us in our terrible state very very sinful state he has loved us knowing how extreme we would go in terms of sinning he chose to give his son jesus christ as the ultimate sacrifice so that we will not be left alone to find our way to heaven instead he made a way through his son jesus christ so i encourage you seek to hear what the lord is saying concerning your situation and grow in the lord and when you learn please share with other believers let us walk this walk together in the strength of God and in the courage of the Lord. Be blessed. God bless you so much. May he continually reach and minister to you and give you the courage to listen in on him and what he's saying concerning every situation of your life and obey. Thank you so much. God bless you.